YouTube family. It has been a couple days since you saw the English family and that is because winter is coming. I'm not in denial. I can feel it's getting colder. We're wearing winter jackets and it is getting colder every single night. We've been making sure that all the animals are warm, getting things cleaned up on our property to make sure that we are ready and have things situated when our first snowfall flies. And in fact, it did snow a little teaser the other morning when I was getting the kids to the bus. But since then, no snow. So we are going to get a bunch of stuff done. You guys have been asking, are you guys gonna freeze this winter? Um, yeah, currently we're gonna freeze this winter because the gentleman who we get our cut wood from, the transmission went on his truck that he uses that has a huge dump in the back that he brings two and a half cords at a time with. And so he's another whole week at least in the shop getting that fixed up before he can bring us our cords of wood. And we need like eight to 10 cords. So he needs to make four or five trips to us to be able to bring us all of our wood. And then your other question was, um, Alicia, Philip, you don't have a wood shelter. Remember your wood shelter? It's on the side lawn. You made it into some coops. Yeah, we don't have a wood shelter. So mission this week is to put up a wood shelter just in time for our wood to arrive. But since our wood's not here yet and we're freezing, we're taking matters into our own hands. And since Philip dropped several of our trees in the springtime, we've been cutting some of those up with the chainsaw and then using other logs we've kind of had laying out. They're actually like really dry and have been burning amazing in our wood stove love the wood stove heat it's so nice to feel the wood stove heat again which makes me look forward to winter because philip tends to the wood stove so i stay warm with the boys all winter so i'm pretty spoiled but we have already had some logs so thank goodness because we had to rely on them we also have some really cool things to be able to use for our wood this year costway sent us a rack for our wood our wood shelter, a splitter, a rack to be able to pull it on. We're gonna show you a bunch of cool things we're gonna use this year to help make our winter a whole lot easier and more convenient this year. We have so much work to do this week and I haven't even seen you in a few days, but we've been doing a countdown because this week we have the most insane surprise ever and we are kind of freaking out and you've been probably hearing us all over the world that our hearts are pounding and that we're not snoring at night because we are so freaking excited about this surprise and it's showing up on Tuesday like Tuesday this week we only have a couple more days so we're gonna hustle and get all of our work done so that we can enjoy this insane surprise that's happening on Tuesday and we're gonna bring you with us so you're gonna see it on Tuesday. This is crazy. Okay, let's get to work. We have so much to do. This is getting colder. So as you know, we kind of started doing a little bit of a revamp on our mini barn and we're not totally finished yet, but that's okay because we are going to actually put the wood shelter beside our mini barn for now. Because remember, our horses are not going to be in this mini barn come spring. They're gonna be in their new stable barn. This is gonna be a storage for lawn things, probably hay, yeah. future animals, we don't know. It's just gonna be a mini barn and beside it here is is a big space and we do like having some trees there that guide a pathway between the house and the mini barn but it is the perfect spot for us to tuck a wood shelter so that we're far enough away from the house yet close enough to get the wood and not have you know a big eyesore somewhere on the property and since our barn is going to be in the side yard where the old wood shelter was we don't want to put the wood shelter back there because it's just going to have to get moved in the spring so now that we've been here for a while and we kind of know where things need to go and where we want them we're going to put our wood shelter right beside but we need to actually get a couple of these straggly trees that don't really have many leaves on them at all out of our way so that our wood shelter can go tucked nestled right in that little wooded area and we'll have a really nice storage spot there where philip can pull the little cart and we can get our wood and we don't have to walk that far you know to go get it it's going to be a lot more convenient there even than when the where the original wood shelter was because our barn is going to be where that wood shelter was so we're pretty it's happening. We've actually been doing a ton of work behind the scenes this week on getting the permit process processing. It's such a process all this processing to get this permit for doing the barn. But we have been doing everything we possibly can to get an approval for this barn. And there's so many things behind the scenes that we have to do. Like for example, this property that we're on is actually two property numbers. They call them PIDs or PIDs here in Nova Scotia. And in order to be able to build, there's certain things that you have to be able to do in order to build on certain types of property and even though we're zoned to have animals and we're zoned because we have acreage and we can do basically anything we want here we're limited onto what we're allowed to build on each of our pids which means that they want us to make our two pids one pid which is a lot of a process and so that is the setback right now 
and obviously they're looking at plans and there's so many things that go into getting a permit for such a big build because this is going to be an epic barn stable barn for the horses and it's coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks but if not beginning of spring but we're hoping fingers crossed english family permit in the next week or two before frost and we can start digging posts let's dig i want to dig let's dig come on permit people <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're praying we're begging we're doing everything we can so we can start this barn okay phillips tie post which we haven't really used very much because the horses are amazing and they kind of just will stand there and wait with us we weren't sure since we were new horse keepers He's gonna make another one closer to where the barn is actually going to be eventually. He's gonna take the bark off. He has a design in mind. So this one's gonna go and be, it's gonna go in the fire pit right now. We're also, you know, just burning some of the branches that are gonna come off some of these trees that we're taking down in this area today and kind of just getting some of that stuff cleaned up. We've been doing so much work on the property this last week. It's been a lot this week to get it all done, but it's gonna be so nice to get it done for winter. So what we're gonna be putting here for a wood shelter is a 10 by 20, which means that we need to have a 10 foot wide space at least with a little bit of a space between the mini barn That's and the shelter. Space between, yeah. yeah, we'd like to be able to walk through and not have it like exactly tight. Uh, we also thought that because of the type of building we're putting here, that the trees that will surround this will really protect this type of shelter as well as having the mini barn on the other side, because that means that the wind isn't gonna just blow this thing over. So we're hoping that at least it's gonna for sure get us through this winter for our wood. Time to cutty. We had to go get a new chain this week because Philip and I cut the roof of the wood shelter and all those shingles with the chainsaw, <laughs> taking that down. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open road He's way back there, YouTube family He's clearing everything out We have wanted to clean up this wooded area Since we got here So many trees that have no growth On the whole lower half so it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> we have a gigantic pile. <laughs> what have I, done? I told you, I told them they're, you're back there somewhere. But we have a whole bunch of trees even at the back there that need to be nicely trimmed along the bottom. Make sure there's no dead branches. Just makes the property look so much cleaner. And I just happen to know a guy who loves to use the chainsaw. So <laughs> it's gonna look really bare when we first get this out because we don't have the building there yet. But this is definitely gonna be something that we needed to do. Most of these trees don't have any growth about three quarters of the way down, just completely dead brush. And so it's just nice to be able to clean it up and we can stack the wood and have some of it dry out and use it eventually for firewood. So, I mean, it's kind of working and we do have plans to plant many trees come in the spring, but we're just not at that part yet. So Cosway sent us a rack to be able to put the wood on. So I'm gonna unbox this here, see what it looks like. I think it's an eight foot long rack that we can put on the porch to be able to put a whole bunch of our logs or wood that's ready to go in the fireplace. That way we'll have it under the underhang of the porch and we can just grab it at night or in the day when we wanna have it and we just keep refilling this rack. So we think underneath our overhang on this side, that will be a great spot. That way we have a walk room behind here to be able to go from the door to get the wood at night. If that doesn't work out too great, we can always put it underneath the window, but we don't really have that much space between the window and the post. So we didn't want to have a, like, you know, the rack there and then not have enough room to walk in between to grab the wood. So I think if you come out of our door here and our wood will be right here. So I think it's actually really nice. And then they also sent us an amazing wood splitter. It's amazing. It's definitely gonna be nice for splitting kindling and getting some things prepped to put in the wood stove. And they also sent us a firewood rack with wheels. So this is gonna be a great way for us to transport some of the wood from where we do the wood shelter to over here where our rack's gonna be. These tires are actually air filled. They're pretty awesome actually. They're gonna be great. Now let's see if I can put this together. The last instructions were so easy and it took me about five minutes. So I'm hoping that this is the same. Got the car put all together. That's so easy. It has these amazing legs and then you can just lean it forward stack it with your wood and then cart your wood wherever you want to take it on your little trolley cart. Pile is dwindling. Getting this all cleared up so we can get our wood shelter put into place.
Well, we'll put it on its side and let's see what's in it. We gotta find the instructions. Oh, nice. So we had cleared out a huge area and Philip and the boys worked tirelessly yesterday to get all the poles put together for our wood shelter. Philip and I just put the back and the front on and we're about to use this massive piece. We have to stretch this out completely so that we can get it up on to the top of the wood shelter so we can enclose this and then put on the remaining bars. I wanna show you kind of what we did here. So we made sure that everything inside was all cleared out. So all those trees over here are now gone so that we can make room for the wood shelter. And we made a really cute pathway behind. So there was a nice like alleyway behind the barn, like beside it in between the wood shelter. And all this back part is cleared. So we're gonna have a really cute little pathway that's gonna eventually go to where our garden is. There we have like siding and stuff for buildings, thinking of putting like a potting bench. And there's another little pathway that will go over to where our raised beds are going to be on that side in the springtime, which is super fun. But look, we cleared all this out. So it's gonna be so nice to be able to make a lot of use of this space. And then there's also a space between the house and the wood shelter that the boys can go through with their quads. We're going to bundle up all that siding that was originally going to go to something else we were building. So we're going to bundle that and get that over into the shed area. But we have done so much work getting this all ready over the last couple of days. And how nice to be able to have a spot for our wood because when it shows up next week, we want to have somewhere dry and permanent that it's going to go. So thank you so much to Cosway for sending this to us just in time for us to be able to get our wood into the wood shelter before winter. This is going to make things so so much more convenient and keep our wood dry this year since you know that our barn is going to go where the wood shelter was and so that's all going to happen over between now and spring and we need to make room so there couldn't be a wood shelter over there so this is the perfect solution it's been so easy to put together i think it matches the house nice it's just a dark gray it's not like too you know out there and then it's not in any pathways of anything that we're going to be using so it doesn't really take up any usable space here on the homestead which is really nice so far, so good. So let's get the top on so we could actually get some wood in here next week when it shows up. We just got the main tarp over top and it had a really cool feature when we realized when we had it all laid out on the ground. Inside is white, which I'll show you once we get everything connected and the rest of the poles in. I guess we get to test out how waterproof this is because it's hailing. So at least we'll be able to finish our job inside of the carport to be able to get all the posts on. Welcome to my new woodshed. This is gonna be perfect for us. I absolutely love that once we got it all opened up that it's white inside. This makes it so much brighter when you're in here. If it was dark with the dark gray on the inside as well, it would be really, really dark when you come in here. Oftentimes it's like nighttime when we come out and get wood in the evening because it gets dark at like five o'clock this time of year. And so when our wood is here, 
It'd be nice. It'll be a little bit brighter in here than if it was just really gray on the inside. Yeah. I think I will string some string lights or some studio lights or something in here just because it will be so cute and whimsical. Always like to add that to our exterior buildings because we do go outside a lot in the evenings and then everything's dark if we don't have our lights on. Like you saw with our turkey and chicken coop, we put the little studio lights and we have our little solar lights out by the front porch and we kind of have lights that kind of come on as we move around the acreage at night, which is great. So who wants to stay inside after 5 p.m. just because it gets dark? This was an amazing gift that Cosway sent us along with all of the other gear they sent us to make this winter so much more convenient for the English family. Like our wood trolley, the little rack that they send that actually is an eight foot long rack that can sit on the porch and allow us to quickly access our wood for our wood stove inside. As you know, we have two wood stoves in the house, so it's nice to keep a lot of wood right there at the porch so you can run out in your slippers on a you know, wet mat and grab some wood and throw it in the wood stove. Rather than keeping a massive abundance in the house, it's just nice on our overhang to have wood there. They also sent us a kindling splitter, which is really convenient because I like to help with the wood stove, even though Philip Boyce keeps us like toasty warm. I still like to be a little bit of a pyro and like play with the wood stove a little bit. And so to make kindling and use a heavy sledge or use the axe is not really something that I'm very successful at doing or really should be you know, swinging an axe around. I'm not really as experienced as Philip is in doing that. So it's nice to have just a small splitter that I can just create some small kindling and not, you know, worry about the dangers of me doing it. So that's super convenient. And the trolley's gonna be able to get us to have wood that comes from this wood shelter over to the porch to fill up our rack. So it's like so nice. So thank you so much to Cosway. I'll leave the link of everything that they sent us as well as, you know, the description for their website and everything down below for you if you wanna cheer them on. If you remember, we've worked with Cosway before. They sent us an amazing shed for our property and a turkey coop and a bunch of other small things that we can use around the house in my art room. They've been a great supporter of our family. So we wanna cheer them on. And if you wanna support them, then everything will be down below. But I think this is gonna be amazing. And now we just have to wait a few more days for our wood to arrive and then we'll have some wood stacking to do okay we have like big time things to do today so this was day two of this video of filming usually you see our videos and we film them in one day or they're compilations of like large projects so this was just the last two days so saturday and sunday of us working or sunday monday rather of us working tomorrow is our insane day like we are absolutely bursting at the seams cannot wait to tell you what tomorrow is going to bring and we're just like I can't even talk about it because I'm going to spill the beans and I'm so excited. So I just cannot wait for you to see our next episode where we show you this secret that we've been keeping for the couple months that we're just like over the moon about. So I can't wait. So don't miss. If you're new to our channel, hit subscribe and follow along what we're doing. Working on our bathroom this week. We have our massive surprise happening on our channel. We're hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow we're going to get word that our barn permit was approved so we can break ground before frozen ground on that. So, oh, pray for us for barn build. And we have so many more things coming in the next couple of weeks on our channel. So I love you. Thank you so much for always cheering us on. I can't wait to tell you tomorrow's secret. I'll see you tomorrow.